Stripe payment links are easy to use and there's no coding required. So let's take a look at how to create one, how they work and how to use them. If you accept payments online, the Stripe payment links function is a great tool and it's ideal if you have a small number of products or services that you just need a simple page to collect payments from your customers. Again, this is in an online setting so you can text, email, post the links to your website or social media and there's not a need for an elaborate configuration of an e-commerce website. As I mentioned, there's no coding and this tool can be used entirely independent of a website site of your own. So the payment links can be used for products and services and as a hosted payment paid function where your customers can choose the ability to pay what they want or choose what they pay. And that is the option that we're going to focus on in today's video, the choose what they pay option. There is a companion video to this where I'll go through the product side of the, the payment links function. So check the links in the description for that video. Getting started, once you're logged in, locate the create button. And if you click on the drop down menu, you will see the payment link option. You can click on it with your mouse or use the hotkeys, which are C and L in order to automatically launch the payment link page. The link creation page launches with a preview screen off to the right that shows you exactly what your payment page will look like to your customers. The first option is to select whether you want to create the link for the product or subscription, as I mentioned at the beginning, or have the hosted payment page that allows the customers to pay you an amount that they select or they choose. This option is what we're going to focus on and it's ideal as noted for tips, donations, or general use where your customers can pay what they want to pay and, and settle up invoices that way. So we'll select that option and you simply give your page a title like your company or organization name or perhaps what the customer will be donating or paying for like the product or service that is. You can add a description that's optional and you can even add a supporting image if you'd like just click and upload. It can be any image, but I'd say the most common application would be to add your company logo or organization logo here. Next, set the currency and you have the ability to suggest a preset amount. This is a common function with donation pages where you could set, for example, a $20 amount while still giving the customer the ability to change it to whatever they would like. You can choose the minimum and maximum amount that a customer can pay. I do suggest using these features because because as you can see, Stripe suggests a minimum payment of 50 cents, and that's likely because the standard rate per the successful charge on their website at the time of this video is 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction for every single transaction. So if someone paid you 50 cents, 31 cents of that would be paid to Stripe for the processing fee, and you would net out 19 cents of that 50 cent minimum. So it's a good idea to at least cover your processing charges of of course, if you're accepting donations or payments with a page like this. Setting a max limit is also a good idea to protect against potential keystroke errors, possibly, where someone might type in an extra zero or something like that or an extra digit by mistake. As long as the max amount is above the minimum, the choice on whether to set it or not is yours to make. Under the advanced options, you can set the call to action button text as pay, book, or donate, and then you have the option to collect a billing address from your customer and if you choose to also collect the shipping address you can do that. You'll be presented with selecting the countries that you would ship to with a light box that will pop up. Once the countries are selected you'll add a shipping rate and then customize that section as you see fit. Last you can choose to ask your customers to provide a phone number while they're making the payment if you'd like. Before we click on the next button you can customize the confirmation page that your customer sees after they make a payment. The options are a standard default message, a customized text message that is, so you can type something in, or you can choose the don't show confirmation page and by typing a URL into the field that's provided, the customer is actually gonna be redirected to a page that you specify by placing the URL right here. After the confirmation page and everything else is set up, just click the next button and you'll be asked if you want to split the payment with a connected account. Now we're not going to go into connected accounts within Stripe today. So 
there's a link in the description if you want to learn more about what those are and how to use them. For now, we're going to uncheck this box because we're not splitting the payment with a connected account. So the final step is just to click the create link button and you can copy the URL on this page as it immediately routes you to a page where you're link is ready to use and you can start sending it to your customers immediately. This is the details page and if you want to change the name of the page or add a note or edit, deactivate or any of the other features, this is where you're going to make changes in general to the page and you can click on the page menu and make your edits accordingly. This is what the live page will look like and it'll be linked in the description if you would like to actually see what this page looks like. Since I've done videos on other payment page softwares, similar to how this one operates. I have a links page, which is a resources page on the website that showcases Stripe and Jotform and all the other payment page software builders. So feel free to check out that page if you like. Again, it's linked in the description. As I mentioned, you can text email or otherwise send this link, this, this Stripe payment link page to your customers and um, it'll always be here ready and available, you know, accessible within your Stripe dashboard to receive payments from your customers as long as they have that link. As you build more pages, they'll be listed right here and the copy to clipboard button is available from the summary screen so you can easily copy and paste and send to your customers. You can access all of your payment links by going to the payments tab in the main menu and then to the payment link sub tab on the side. And you can also just go to the more drop down menu and select the payment links option and it'll take you right there. I'll cover the product payment page links as as I mentioned at the beginning of this video in part two of this Stripe payment links video. So be sure to check the links. It'll be linked on the screen and in the description. Don't forget that if you're putting a payment collection system together in your business, we do offer a free consultation that's linked up in the description. You can click and, and find a time on the calendar page that works for you to either talk directly with me or someone on my team. And we'll go through everything with you. You can either do a, a follow along and implement you know from our videos that we put out or you can have our team set up and configure everything for you if that's easier for you so again be sure to check the links for part two of this video where i'll dive into the payment links for products and creating coupons and and lots more and there's also a stripe playlist at the end of this video if you want more tutorials on the topics of stripe payment processing and how to use it if you learned something new you like the content here please hit the thumbs up subscribe hit the bell notification so you get Get notified when more videos like this are posted. I always appreciate you watching. Thanks for, for uh, tuning in and watching this video. If you have questions, leave me a comment below on anything in this video or anything related to payments. That's all for now. I'm Brian and I'll see you on the next one.